Hey guys, it's Franco. We are in Highland Park taking a look at an apartment complex we just installed a Samsung Hilux heat pump. This is an all electric building. There's no natural gas. We have our condenser heat pump on the roof and uh, all electric air hamper inside the unit. I'll meet you in the roof and let's take a look at the system. Pump, our Samsung Hilux heat pump. So this is a heat pump or air conditioning system that is what is called a universal heat pump. And one of the things that make it universal is that this unit can work with existing refrigerant line set of multiple sizes. And the other big thing is that it works with existing communication wiring. Most homes only have two wires. And in a situation like this, an apartment complex, it is not possible to replace the refrigerant lines, it's not possible to replace the wiring, so a heat pump was a no-go for them until we offer them the Samsung Hilux system. This is an all-electric building, so this system is going to bring substantial energy savings. We're going to take a look at your handler inside in a couple of minutes, but here's our outdoor unit, which is going to be doing all your conditioning and most of the heating, so the Samsung Hilux. It's a cold climate heat pump. So what that really means is this heat pump is rated to provide 100% heating capacity down to five degrees outdoor temperature and it will continue to heat down to five degrees. So with this cold climate heat pump, the homeowner is gonna be able to heat the, home, the entire home pretty much 90 to 99% of the year without having to engage that expensive to operate back at heat. Uh, talking about efficiency of this unit, for this particular one, it's a two-ton in capacity, 24,000 BTUs. So this unit provides a COP, coefficient of performance, of around three when the temperature is warmer. And it goes down to around two at five degrees, which is very, very efficient compared to the traditional electric heat for conversion and heating element. It provides an efficiency or COP of around one. This unit also has a 16.5 CR2 cooling efficiency, which is very efficient. And when it comes to sound level, in this case, it's not gonna matter as much, but this unit is on the roof, thanks to a lot of much louder units. But if this unit is on a backyard or your balcony, it only makes about 52 decibels. Your traditional air conditioning makes around 75 decibels. So it's a very quiet unit. So another thing that makes this unit pretty unique and more efficient is not just the high efficiency ratings, but it's our inverter compressor. So inside the cabin here we have a compressor. The compressor is responsible for sending heating and cooling to the home via refrigerant. So a variable speed inverter compressor is quite different to a traditional unit in the sense that instead of turning on and off like a traditional unit, like this one right next to me, that unit is on and off. The compressor that gives you full power or nothing, regardless of outdoor conditions. This unit is going to modulate or adjust the capacity or the amount of healing and cooling it can produce based on outdoor temperature and what the home needs in very small increments, typically from all the way down from 20% to 100%, allowing the unit to adjust to changing conditions, much like a car in the highway, which is adjusting to traffic and traffic conditions, so it's a lot more efficient. Uh, Units with inverter technology are typically 40%, up to 40% more efficient than a traditional unit. Uh, so there's substantial savings year round, both heating and cooling. And then moving to comfort, variable speed technology provides much more stable temperature management as the unit doesn't need to provide a lot of heat or nothing at all. It's constantly adjusting, giving you a much more smooth sensation for your heating and cooling. Typically the rooms are gonna be more consistent across the home time of the day to time of the day is a more consistent temperature, it's a much better experience to be home. In addition, the curtain technology for cooling is going to provide much better dehumidification, typically two to three hundred percent better humidity removal than a single stage air conditioning. As the unit runs longer times and lower capacities, there's a better opportunity to remove moisture out of the unit. So, really nice installation by our team. This unit has become very popular in the last couple of years, allows most homeowners to get a variable speed system 
uh, which is a heat pump, can also be installed in cooling only, but brings variable speed technology without having to replace refrigerant lines, without having to replace wires. It also works with most existing furnaces or air handler, in this case it's an all-electric air handler. But a really, really amazing unit. So I'll meet you back inside. We're gonna take a look at the inside part of this installation, which we have our air handler, our electric heat. Let's go take a look inside. And that's our thermostat, and here's our air handler. So on the previous installation, the air handler was installed right on the floor, no return box on the bottom, and the filter was just hanging on the side. So we changed all that. Much better return system. We're gonna put a picture of the previous setup on the screen. This Lennox air handler is equipped with a variable speed blower, which complements our inverter heat pump by being able to adjust the blower speed based on what's needed, which results in quieter operation inside the house, more consistent airflow mixture, more efficient to circulate the air, and as another benefit, it's also gonna help us get better air filtration and better humidity control by adjusting the blower speed. So here's our thermostat, our Lennox E30 thermostat. It's showing our screensaver right now. Today it's cold, but it's sunny. But now the thermostat is telling us what it's doing. So it's heating, it's heating with the heat pump. How do I know that? It just says heating. When it uses that electric heating element, it's gonna show us emergency heat. So if I crank up the temperature a few degrees, in a minute or two, it's gonna show us that is also using the emergency heat, but the system knows by default that the emergency heat or electric heating is not very efficient. So it's gonna always try to use a heat pump and only use the electric heat when it really needs to, to bring the temperature up or in a really cold day. And most of the time it's gonna be providing heat with the heat pump. We also have our automatic humidifier. So the system is gonna be running the humidifier automatically based on the outdoor temperature. So really uh, friendly user interface, looks great on the wall but the most important is that it has all the controls to tell the heat pump what to do properly and get that really good efficiency and better comfort. And here we have our auxiliary heat, it just kicked in, so I increased the temperature four degrees, so now the system thinks that it's colder outside or it needs to catch up quickly, so it's bringing our auxiliary heat, which is the electric heat. But for normal operation, we don't set the thermostat at 78, we're gonna bring it back to 72 and it's gonna be doing heating only, which is the heat pump. Hey guys, if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel, drop me a like, and please comment. I always respond to every comment.